Hey, what's up guys? It's Crew Dog Gamer coming at you with the first of the complete American map fishing guide. We're going to be covering every single map. We're going to be covering every single fish, figuring out how to catch them, where to catch them, examples of all of them, and what you need to do at your particular level in order to get to these maps and start catching these fish. So, the first map that we're going to go to is going to be Lone Star Lake. This is where everybody's going to start, and we're going to look at gear, we're going to look at fish, we're going to look at lures, baits, all that kind of stuff. We're going to look at what we can buy and use in order to catch fish on all these maps, starting with Lone Star Lake. Lone Star Lake is a level 2 lake. It's going to contain a fair amount of fish species, blacktail shiner, bluegill, channel catfish, golden shiner, grass pickerel, green sunfish, red ear sunfish, smallmouth buffalo, spotted bass, and white crappie. So the main fish that you need to worry about once you get up to about level four are you going to be your channel catfish, your smallmouth buffalo, and your spotted bass. Spotted bass are much, easily, much more easily caught on a lure than they are caught on bait. But once you get certain kinds of bait, you should be able to catch them just fine. So let's look at some gear. What kind of gear you're going to be using in order to catch these fish. So for rods, let's say you are very, very low level. You're going to be coming in with a Telefloat 14.9. Now this Telefloat 14.9 is what you're going to be using to catch your sunfish, what you're going to be using to catch your crappie, and that's what you're going to be using to catch your shiners. So don't expect this to catch a whole lot of bass. Don't expect this to catch a whole lot of buffalo or catfish because you're not going to have the casting distance that you're going to require in order to be able to catch those fish. Right. For something like that, you're going to need your value spin 6.3. That's going to be your lure rod that you can buy once you've leveled up to level 3 and have saved up $1,250. So for baits, you have a metric shit ton of baits that you'll be able to use. Bread, essentially being the first bait that you're going to get. Bread and red worms. I would suggest red worms over the bread. But then you're going to get up into cheese, uh, pet food, and grasshoppers, which are excellent baits for the levels that you're going to get to. We're going to go up to level four here because our next map is going to be mud water and that's a level four lake where you're going to be seeing things like cheese and pet food really come into play. Now for lures you're going to have to get to level three. You're going to have to grind those bluegill and those shiners and those sunfish in order to be able to get up to these spoons, right? Your slop spoons are going to be what primarily catch you fish on these small maps or your casting spoons. I would recommend the casting spoons over the slop spoons. I think they work a little better. The hooks are a little better. And your bass jig is also going to be okay if you end up getting a bait coin in the midst of all that. But up to level 4, you're going to have a plenty of casting spoons. And if you feel like spinning it, you can use jig heads. But I would stay away from those until we get to mud water. Jig, the jig heads really aren't exclusively used on a lot of things. So just don't worry about them that much. They're not that important. But let's look at a standard gear setup for grinding our bluegill and such. So here is our super standard setup. This is a Telefloat 14.9, mini spin 1200, two pound monofilament, an oval bobber. We've got a number 10 hook and red worms. This is going to be all level one equipment. This is all stuff you can get off the rip. It's what you spawn with. It's what you're going to be using for a little while until you get up to level three and you can get those other rods. But this is going to be a decent setup to get you some money off the rip. Now, once you get up in level to level three, you're going to have the option to pick one of two types of rods, right? You're going to be able to go with your lure rod, your spinning rod, or you can go with something like a feeder rod. A feeder rod is going to be excellent for getting down deep and being able to catch the smallmouth buffalo or the catfish. It just depends on what you're after, whether or not you want to go for the spotted bass or you want to go for the buffalo. I would recommend you go for the buffalo. I think they're a little easier to catch, and you also catch the catfish in the midst of that. The bass are... Your, going to have to know some lure techniques you're not just going to be able to cast out and retrieve so i've got three setups that i'm going to take with me this setup is not going to be one that you're going to be able to get off the rip but the lure is what i'm focusing on not so much the uh, rod and reel i don't feel like spending money on the uh, value spend right now just in order to show you guys but you're going to have something that's going to contain one of these one sixth ounce casting spoon right and i've got two of them i've got a gold one and i've got a silver one you can see them right here. They're the level three lures that you're going to be able to use. Those casting spoons are going to be very important when you go to catch bass on this map. But we've also got another setup that we're going to look at. We've got a Creed Pro 710. Now this is the level three feeder rod. 
that you can get very early on. And this is going to be the rod that you're going to be looking for whenever you're trying to catch smallmouth buffalo or young channel catfish. So these three rod setups, we're just going to take the reel and the line off of this one and throw it onto our Creek Pro. And in somewhere in there, we're going to install a two pound mono leader, keeping that drag nice and loose so we don't break it. We're going to be carrying that with us. You're going to need a monofilament leader or whatever kind of leader you can afford. If we look at the shop here, you're going to be able to see our leaders. Our lowest level leader is a level three, two pound leader. And that's what we're going to be using. Now, when you also look into this, you're going to be needing sinkers, right? Sinkers are going to be important. Our level three sinker is a half ounce. And that's what we're going to take with us. We're going to have that set up in there as well. Whenever we swap over to our sinker setup. So let's get over to Lone Star and see if we can catch some of these fish. So you're going to have three locations you can spawn into at Lone Star Lake. You're going to have Home Sweet Home, Swampy Exploration, and Dam Road. The two you're going to need to focus on right now, really one, is going to be your Swampy Exploration just because it's closer to the bridge. And that's where a lot of these fish are located at, these super low level fish that you're going to catch on the telefloat. So we spawn in here. We've got a lure rod out, but that's not what we want to use. We want to use our... Telefloat. Now we've got our number 10 hook on here and we've got our red worms. So something to focus on here. You're not going to need to have a super deep leader while you're doing this. So just have it somewhere between 16 and 24 inches and you can cast just about anywhere around these lily pads in order to catch something. A spot I would suggest for you guys though is to go down the path and fish on the side. There's actually a little opening up here that opens up the lily pad channel. And we'll hit F11 so we can cast further. Changes our cast type. Now you can cast off the side of all these. This is an excellent, excellent spot if you just cast right into the lily pads here. You'll be able to pull out a whole bunch of fish right here. A whole bunch of fish to save up for either that Creek Pro or that value spin, whichever rod you're hoping to go to. Hopefully you'll be able to save up enough money rather quickly doing this. If you catch the right kind of fish, you're looking at between $15 and $25. So Decent amount of money for what you're doing. Should be able to get you leveled up. You're going to be getting money when you level up as well as long as bit, as well as bait coins. So don't worry too much about the fish money. Worry about getting up to that rod that's going to be able to make you more money. So we'll catch a couple fish here. One thing I didn't mention, when you're this low level, make sure you're checking your weather forecast. Make sure that you're in your prime fishing zones. You can see the graph here. It goes up and down. You want to be fishing in these peak zones, right? These high zones. So 5 a.m. is a good time for us. That's going to be where we want to fish. All right, and we've got a fish biting. You can see the bobber moving up and down on the right side. That's the indicator that we have a fish biting. When you see it start to twitch off screen like crazy like that, so we know that we actually have a fish bitten. Right click and pull up our trophy bluegill for 31 bucks. That's pretty solid. There's nothing wrong with catching something like that. And we can fish anywhere in these lily pads around here. Anywhere around these pads is going to be a decent spot as long as our bobber stands up straight. If it doesn't, then we're going to reel it in, shorten up our leader, or we're just going to cast somewhere different. So we're trying to catch as many fish as possible in the beginning stages here. That way we can get our level up quickly and we can get that money to start flowing. Now, one thing to note about this spot is you want to make sure that you cast actually to the end of the lily pads. If you cast a little bit shorter, you're going to have an issue where it's going to say that your tackle was taken out of the water before the fish was able to actually take the bait. It's not a big deal. You can F11 and cast a little shorter if you want to. Uh, I prefer to cast out a little bit further. I find the trophies bite a little more out here. While the bite is a tad bit slower, the trophies are worth more money and more XP. They get us a little closer to that goal. We're getting another bite right here, so we'll get this fish in. The reeling in of these fish <laughs> takes almost no time. It's a very quick process. Uh, it, it is something you should not have to worry about very much you shouldn't even have to fight the fish at this point now if you get a fish that bites and it doesn't take the bait immediately don't worry about it uh, a couple of the tactics you can use you can reel in slightly uh, and then just let the line back out a little bit sometimes they'll start to bite again like it's doing right now if they don't don't worry about it you can leave it sitting there you can reel it back up and cast it out there's really no super strict guideline to how to catch the fish right here just uh Grab you some fish and pull them in. And we whipped a golden shiner out of the water there, right? So we've got a couple fish. Got about 50 bucks there in almost no time. That was pretty easy. We got $54. Uh, 
uh, in less than 10 minutes in game, 10 or 15 minutes. We'll try and catch one more and then we'll go on to the next rod and reel, see if we can get something out of the water with those. And we've got another fish biting. It doesn't take much time at all. We have one minute in game and we've got another one biting. Hopefully he takes the bait and we can get him in here. And there he is. That didn't take a whole lot of effort. That's another bluegill, another 11 bucks. We're up to 60 bucks there. Not too terrible. That's what you're going to have to deal with for a little while until you can get up to something a little better. I promise you it's not that bad and it doesn't take that long. You're going to catch some trophies. You can even do some of the uh, mission, the exploration missions to get up some more XP in this stage of the game. Don't get discouraged by the small fish. It gets better rapidly, I promise. So once we've leveled up slightly, we've got a rod that we can use in order to throw a lure. We're gonna be looking at doing something like fishing for bass. Now these casting spoons, the silver and gold casting spoons are excellent for this type of stuff. And you'll hear people argue over which color to use on different days. I don't think it matters a whole ton. As long as you can get your hands on one of the casting spoons, and all you have to do is either cast it down the middle of these lily pads, down this channel way, or up along these lily pads. You don't have to be super specific with it. You can stand in one spot. We'll just stand right here and see how many spotted bass we can pull in with this. And we'll look at the money difference between what we were just getting and what we are going to get now. So as far as retrievals go, you can use something like a straight slow where you literally just reel the lure in. It takes almost no effort. And you just reel it in. If it starts coming to the top of the water, just let it fall. And then you can start reeling it in again, right? So we're not really too worried about looking at the pressure or the weather outside or any of that stuff. We're too, we're too low level for that right now. There's not a whole lot of science brought into it. Now, if you want, you don't feel like the straight slow is working for you, you can use something like a stop and go with a one or two speed. You can do about two reels and you can stop. Two reels and stop do reels and stop just keep using that now if you get the money to buy boat spoons you can try different ones see if one works better for you see if one works worse for you and we actually just got a fish right there is it a spotted no we got a white crappie so you'll catch this white crappie there's nothing wrong with that either man as long as you're catching fish off of these lures i think the lures are a little more effective a little quicker in getting these types of fish in these predatory fish so as soon as you can start fishing with a lure, I would recommend it because they save you more money. You're not spending money on bait and you're going to catch a few more fish and probably a few bigger fish at that too. And we've got another fish on. This is probably another crappie. Yep. Another white crappie. And we'll make a long cast right down the middle here. Now you might not be able to cast as far as uh, what I'm casting right now, and if that's the case, don't worry about it. It's just the rod level and stuff like that. This is a DLC rod. Uh, it's one I bought a long time ago and somehow haven't broken yet, like most of my other DLC rods. So if you do end up uh, not being able to cast as far, don't worry about it. Just keep casting up into the lily pads. We just actually had a bite right there. I saw my meter go up. And just keep on fishing, man. There's no, no big issues to it. All right, we've got a little bigger fish on the line here. Hopefully it's a spotted. If not, it's definitely going to be a large crappie. And it looks like we've got our first spotted bass. So that's $76, guys. That's almost double the money that we were making on the other fish. This is a fish that you want to target. You're going to catch a lot of those white crappie, too. Don't worry about it. Just keep on throwing that spoon, and you're going to get a couple of these guys in there, too, which is going to greatly boost your economy. Which is very important. You're going to need all the money you can get. See, we got quite a few white crappie in there. And they were worth somewhere between... Uh, looks like our most expensive one is $28. This one's 76 bucks, right? Spotted bass is going to be worth quite a bit of money. It's going to be a good, good fish to catch. Uh, Golden Shiner are right up in there as well. At this low level, we're looking to not fill our keep net and make as much money as possible. So the smaller the fish that's worth more money... Or the bigger the fish that fills up your keep net quicker so you can go to the next day is the option that we're going to go for. Smallmouth buffalo are going to be, be the biggest fish on this map. But that's going to take us getting to level 3. Really grinding the shit out of all of these smaller fish. 
in order to get to level three, it does not take long. You're going to get to level three in probably your first 30 minutes of playing the game. So don't worry about it too much. But let's say we got up to level three. And we've got enough money to start fishing for the smallmouth buffalo. Let's look at what that setup would look like. So if we're looking at a setup that comes down to being level three, everything we can buy at level three, we're going to have to upgrade just a hair, right? We're going to have to look at buying a leader. We've actually got a two pound on a, on a filament leader here. And we're going to be using a half ounce sinker, but we have upgraded our line slightly. We're still using the same reel. But our line needs to be a tad stronger to deal with this big ass sinker that we're hucking down the fucking, you know, the pond, right? So we're still using the same hook. No need to change your hook. It should be fine for this other push. We've changed over to cheese, which is a level three bait. Three pound mono line, a half ounce sinker. Number 10 hook, two pound monofilament leader. And we have upgraded to the Creek Pro 710. So the Creek Pro 710 is going to be a feeder rod. You can use a feeder tube with it if you so feel the need, but it's going to cost you a little more money than the half ounce sinker. The sinker should be just fine for what we're going for right for right now, which is the smallmouth buffalo and the young channel catfish. So channel catfish are going to be a pretty good source where you can tell basically they like here, but they also like cheese, corn, bees, all that other kind of stuff. They're omnivorous. They don't give a shit. They'll eat whatever. And our smallmouth buffalo are going to be looking for stuff like semolina balls, corn, mayflies, blood worms. If you can afford the corn, uh, I would suggest corn, but we're going to use cheese just to go with it. I've also got some semolina balls in here, which I believe are a level five bait. You can also look at grasshoppers, mayflies, blood worms. Those are all baits for these as well. Red with honey is a level six bait, so that's going to be a little out of the scope of what we're talking about right now but we're going to talk about the map and a hole right so we've got a big big hole right out here in the middle of the lake we're gonna have two spots so we're gonna fish these fish for if that makes sense we've actually got a very deep hole along the edge of the fence over here and we've got a gigantic hole over the middle and we're going to spawn in and look at some markers that kind of explain it a little better so we spawn in here this is the exact spot you'll spawn in we've got two directions we can go we can go up the hill through the gate or down that way you can also go to the left we're going to look at our two markers on our map tablet right here so our two markers are going to cover the middle of the lake there's actually quite a few holes that you can fish out here as you can see it's one big hole that just kind of gives you a reference for the center of it and we've got our ultra deep hole over here so we're going to go fish the ultra deep real quick now we're using a little bit different rod and reel so we'll see if we can yeah you've got plenty of rod and or excuse me line to make it out to the center of this if you don't feel like you can do this there's a gap in the fence right behind where we spawn and you can just walk the road right over to where the marker is and you can set a marker that just shows you where the absolute center of this thing is you can right click get some serious precision aiming going on cast that sucker out there we'll make sure our drag is nice and light so we can kind of test out where we're going now, this is a 10 foot hole it's the deepest part of the lake wait for a fish to take it all right so we've actually got a fish biting what you can tell is we've got those uh fun little jumping rod tip in the top right and the fish is taking the bait the line jumped off to the side that's kind of how you know they've taken it and we can just increase our drag until we feel comfortable with where it's at that's about as high as i'm willing to go with it and we'll fight this sucker all the way in it's going to be a decent sized fish remember you're on two pound line so you don't want to set that drag too tight risk breaking the line risk wearing it down no bueno this fish shouldn't give us too much trouble. He looks like he's coming in pretty easily. All right, and here he comes. Only 14 foot out. We've got ourselves a young channel catfish. A good bit more weight. Not quite nearly as much money as the spotted bass. He's going to come in at $32. But decent amount of XP. 9 XP. And... That's uh that's the main spot I usually catch the channel catfish out here. We're gonna move on to the smallmouth buffalo with the same bait. So while you can catch the smallmouth buffalo in pretty much the same spot, they're not quite as common as catching them out here in the big hole. Uh, and there's that gap in the fence I was talking about earlier. So we'll start at the spawn position. We'll walk out here just until we're past these shrubs. And when I see this big pile of grass right here, just past the shrubs. 
I know I'm about in the right spot. And we're going to have our marker out there. We're going to have one pad, two pad, three pad. So we're going to look at two pad. We're going to go out past it just a hair, not a whole lot. We're going to be looking for about 100 to 120 feet out. It's not exact, but it does work. So we're at 92 feet. That's fine. I'm not too worried about 90 feet. Uh, anywhere in that range, it's not an exact measurement. It's just, you know, it's an area because there's a gigantic hole out here. If I place markers all around the edge of it, if I had enough of them, you guys would see all of them around there. But this is about where we're going to be fishing for the smallmouth buffalo. It's actually where I caught the mad eye buffalo as well. The monster quest for this map, which I'll be doing a tutorial on later as well. And hopefully we will get a buffalo here shortly. So it looks like we've got a fish messing with us. We can see our tension bars going up. Hopefully we'll be able to get them to take the bait soon. I don't think if I hook right now, sometimes the hooking is a little weird, man. Just got to... Just gotta try it and there we go we got a fish on now in this spot you'll also catch a, a few readier sunfish you'll catch some of the smaller bluegill and stuff like that uh, don't be discouraged from it this is still where i catch 99 percent of my buffalo unfortunately though, the cheese bait is quite uh, widespread and it's going to be a bait that you're going to catch a lot of stuff with but it is the lowest level bait we'll just try and go out a little bit further hopefully we'll actually get it and uh Hopefully we'll be able to get a small month on the line here shortly. All right, looks like we've got another fish messing with the line here. He's popping it all around. Looks like he's running with it. And this is probably a smallmouth buffalo, if I had to guess. It seems like he's fighting like one. He's pulling enough to be one. So it's either that or a trophy, trophy bluegill. Either way, we're going to be pretty happy with it. So we've actually caught a young channel catfish. You don't catch them. A whole lot of them at this spot. I usually catch more buffalo than I do trophy channel cats. But what are you going to do? You can't really be mad at it at this low of a level. He's still 30 bucks. He's still 8 XP. He's still pushing us towards that goal. So let's see if we can't get a buffalo on the line here. Follow us. Alright, so it looks like we've got another fish biting here. Let's see if we can't get him brought in. It looks like he's already hooked up. Yeah, we got him. Sorry, I am zoomed in. If you guys are on PC, you can also hit Z. Or Z on your keyboard and you should be able to zoom in this is not going to be another smallmouth but we are going to catch a bluegill What's wrong with that and let's see if we can get a smallmouth on the line all right guys so something to remember is that there are better baits out there right so we're going to assume that we are level three we just caught these catfish. We just caught these red ear sunfish and stuff like that. And cheese, while not the best bait for these things, will work. Uh, it can be substituted with some other stuff. So we're going to look at using some baits like pearl barley and pet food. So let's give pearl barley a try. This is actually a roach bait. And I'm actually interested to see whether or not this is just kind of a test to see if it'll catch these buffalo. Okay, wow, uh, we actually caught a fish on that. So this was more of a test than anything else. Uh, if you guys get the hankering, you are more than welcome to try pearl, bar try pearl barley, which is a fish exclusively meant for the roach uh, over in Europe. And it'll catch a blacktail shiner. Let's swap over to our pet food now and see if we can catch something off of that. I meant to bring corn, but I did not do that. And I don't think I can buy it here. No, I cannot. So our pet food has just landed us a fish, or not landed yet, but we have certainly got one on the hook. I would be willing to bet that it's a catfish. Nothing wrong with that. Fill our keeping head up real quick. Get us a lot of weight in the bag, get us some XP. But hopefully we're gonna land one of these smallmouth buffalo. While a lot of these baits are suitable for a smallmouth and you'll get them mixed in with the catfish, you're gonna see a lot more of the catfish. That's just the way it is until you get to a higher level and you can buy something like uh, corn or something that is specifically meant for carp type fish and i think we actually have oh my god we have got a gigantic trophy ready or sunfish well you can't really complain about that too much either this is the kind of stuff that you're going to see when you start up in your level you're going to start catching bigger fish you're going to catch fish that are 
meant to fill up your keep net and really make you some money. That's 40 XP, guys. 40 XP versus the 8 and 9 that we were getting off of our smaller stuff. Targeting trophy fish. You can't really be mad about that. That's a pretty good fish. Here we go. We've actually swapped over to our left slightly. Just fishing a different part of the big old hole out here. And we've got a mean fish on the line. And I believe this might be what we're looking for. We're going to see when we get him in. He's not no biggie. We'll keep on trying for him. And one thing you can actually do when you're fighting a fish is you can run towards him. A lot of people will just sit in one spot and try and fight the fish. You can actually run towards him to get in a little ground on your line. So when you're low level, you're dragging and... Uh, really capable of being that high you're more than welcome to run towards the fish and try and get them up as long as you don't lose them to low line tension and we have actually ran this fish down all the way over to the bridge and uh from right here buddy it's looking like a smallmouth buffalo and he's running us right back out better be ready for a decent challenging fight when you're fishing with this low level of a gear Remember guys, you want to be able to upgrade as soon as you possibly can, so this can be minimalized. It can be mitigated to being as low as possible. Otherwise, you're going to spend all your time fighting fish and not catching them. I'm literally chasing this smallmouth down the uh, side of the stream. Fighting them on this low level gear is uh, difficult. Just to let you guys know, you're going to spend a little bit of time doing this. Uh, just so you guys aren't shell-shocked when you spend 15 or 20 minutes fighting a fish. It can definitely happen this way where you have to run around and just do your best to catch up to the fish. As you can see, I started on the other side of the lake and I'm all the way over here. I only gained about 10 feet on the fish. And we have finally got our smallmouth buffalo here coming in at $61.35 XP. That's going to be coming in at the same thing that our gigantic trophy came in at. But this is the smallmouth buffalo. This is the hardest fish to catch on this map. As you can see, it didn't take a whole lot of time. Uh, we haven't even made it through two hours in game. I've actually left and come back once to get some different bait. Just show you guys that. Pet food on a number 10 hook with all level 4 and under gear. So this is all going to be stuff that you can use until you're able to go to Mudwater and then Rocky Lake to do some real fishing there. But this is going to be the type of fishing that you're going to have to do when you come to the game. When you first start off, you're going to have these squiggly little Riley crazy smallmouth buffalo that are fighting you all the way across the map so you can upgrade your stuff. And you can start catching those bigger fish and start working towards those gigantic fish like what we catch on the stream. We catch those white sturgeon and flathead catfish and stuff like that. The big, big, big fish in the game. This is the kind of stuff that we're really looking for. This is what... We're working towards, we're working towards those big fish, those big money, those $2,000 fish, and we're working towards getting off of Lone Star Lake. There's nothing wrong with Lone Star Lake. It's a great beginner map. It's a great way to go back and get a little money if you need it, but it sh you should not stay there forever. There are much better opportunities elsewhere, and I'm going to have some more videos coming out later on those. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you have any questions on Lone Star Lake, it's a very simple map, and we should be able to help you with Unity. If you want to come in and ask some questions, you should join the Discord down below in the description. And if you appreciate watching this video and you want to see more like it or you want to request your own video, you're more than welcome to become a Patreon supporter. It's $5 a month, and you get to request one video per month. And I'll actually be taking the money and using it to buy a game every single month to match up with somebody's request. So if you feel like that's something you want to participate in, Please click the link in the description below. You can also follow me on Twitch. I stream over there sometimes, but I'm mostly streaming on YouTube. So yeah, stick around if you want to see some of that kind of stuff. I usually stream five to six days a week for two to four hours at a time. So it's a pretty open window, usually in the evening between six and nine Eastern Standard Time. So please come in, hang out in the stream. I will definitely talk to you as will most of the other guys who are going to be in here whenever we're, uh, whenever we're streaming and stuff like that. So... Appreciate you guys watching. You guys have a great night and tight lines. Hey guys, it's Crew Dog Gamer coming to bring you another Fishing Planet video.